Okay, well, good afternoon, everyone. So my name is Dr. Carmen DeSauer. Um, I am a professor and vice chair in the Integrated Biology and Pharmacology Department and uh, located on the fourth floor of the McGovern Medical School. And so um, my lab really uh, focuses on cyclic EMP signaling, particularly as it relates to two critical conditions, and that is heart disease and chronic pain. So many of you learned about G proteins and G protein coupled receptors in some biochem course as an undergrad. If not, you're certainly familiar with the effects of this pathway. So think about epinephrine or aka adrenaline, right? It interacts with its G protein coupled receptor. It activates a dull cyclase, the enzyme that produces cyclic EMP. And this kicks off a cascade of events to ultimately give you that increase in heart rate that you feel, right? But the effects of cyclic EMP tend to be local. Um, and so you get this um, cloud, uh, if you will, um, or this nano domain of cyclic EMP that's produced. So the cell has to then build these discrete macromolecular complexes that will translate that local cyclic EMP to some kind of cellular function. All right. And so my lab's discovered and identified many of these complexes. Um, these include um, the bottom left corner, the MA cap co scaffolded complex that's really important for cardiac hypertrophy, um, a Yotau complex that's uh, critical for cardiac repolarization. Um, we've looked at heart rate control and even this ACAP79 uh, complex in the upper right corner that's important for cardiac contractility. Okay, so we use a number of techniques. Um, these include things like biochemistry and mouse knockout models. Here is shown uh, the blood flow across the Doppler, um, uh, using Doppler imaging across the mitral valve of one of our knockout um, models. And we use a lot of imaging, proteomics, things like confocal, live cell microscopy, or FRET, bifluorescent complementation, proximity ligation assays, bioID um, for proteomics, all of these types of um, techniques that you'd actually uh, learn about in the methods course that I teach um, for the lectures I teach. So um, one of these complexes, though, this ACAP79 complex, is also involved in chronic pain. Okay, so it's involved in sensing pain. And so um, we've actually um, done a lot of work on um, this complex in context of looking at the regulation by opioids. So we have actually found that in fact, um, for severe injury, the signals from opioids is actually blocked to adult cyclase. And we do use a lot of techniques to try and look at the signaling in this context, particularly with um, regard to nociceptor signaling. So we do some a lot of high content imaging that allows us to look at the signals across all different types of neuronal subtypes within the dorsal root ganglia. We use RNA sequencing, biochemistry, and in collaboration with the Walters lab, we even use behavior and electrophysiology to be able to understand more of these um, pain responses. So I've had the um, really great pleasure of mentoring um, many talented uh, students over the years. And I would certainly um, look forward to having any one of you uh, join and help us continue this work. So thank you very much.